Hello, this is Jeff from Baron Leathercraft, and today we're going to do a simple project that is going to be useful to all leather crafters. If you don't have one already, what we're going to create today is a leather weight bag. These leather weight bags are a great tool. What I use them for is to hold down the leather sturdy, so when I do tooling on the leather, it keeps it from moving around and jumping around. For that reason, it makes it a lot simpler and it's a lot better than using tape. You'll need some soft leather, a scratch all to mark the leather, some sort of circle template. In this case, I use the top of a water pitcher, a knife you like to cut with, a wing divider, some contact cement, some thong and chisels, a nice mallet, some thread, some BBs, a lighter, an onion, and this will be the very first project I will be using my new sewing machine with. You want to start out by choosing the piece of leather that you want to use and in this case I used a piece of Laredo Crazy Horse and now I'm laying down the pitcher top and I'm going to go ahead and use the scratch all to create a circle around it as my template. You want to do this twice of course because there's going to be a top and bottom to this bean bag. There you go, there's our two circle patterns. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use my clicker knife. This knife I like to use on soft leathers because it's just really easy to control. Just follow the circle pattern you created with the scratch hole, it makes it a lot simpler. Of course, cut out both patterns. All right, it's time to break out the wing divider. I decided to use five millimeters. I wanted to give myself some safe space considering this is the first time I'm actually gonna be using my sewing machine for a project. Of course, I picked a circle to be my first project. It makes backstitching a little more difficult, but that's okay, I need to learn how to use this thing. You only need to use the wing divider on one half of the circle. Now it's time to glue a majority of the circle together. I usually do my gluing on top of a piece of plastic because I find that the glue doesn't really adhere to the plastic too easily. We're gonna go ahead and glue a majority of the circle. We're gonna leave about an inch gap. That way we could use a funnel to go ahead and put the BBs inside the bag. You really only need to glue it up to the sew line. This is to keep the bag stable as you sew it. When you use contact cement, make sure you glue both sides. And then you wanna give a fair amount of time for it to dry. Really, the longer the better. I usually always wait no less than 15 minutes. 15 minutes later. Okay, now it is time to pancake the two pieces together. You wanna to make sure that the pieces without glue are lined up because that's gonna be the whole way you use the funnel. Of course, try to get them as lined up as well as possible. You want to make this thing look nice. Go ahead and push around the edges. That way the glue really adheres well. What I normally do and will do is take a hammer to the edges as you will see here. There we go. You don't want too big of an opening because you don't want to pour the BBs in it and then have them all pour out. So that should be perfect. At this point, you want to go ahead and put your stitching holes in if you're going to be sewing it by hand. Since I'm using a machine, I'm going to go ahead and mark little start and stop points. That way I don't sew over the hole that we left open to be able to put the BBs in. Here I am using my sewing machine slowly. You see right here, I'm about to backstitch and I have to actually curve it as we backstitch. I'm really looking forward to being able to use this machine correctly. It just practice makes perfect. I was happy on the most part, I was able to keep this stitch pretty straight and that's around the circle. What I'm really working on is the starting and ending of a stitch. If you don't do it correctly, it could look all sloppy and bunched up. There's nothing like hand stitching, that's for sure, but the sewing machine will save me a lot of time.
When you're done with the stitch, go ahead and melt down the ends and make it try to look as nice as possible. The beginning and the end of the stitch didn't come out that bad. Now we have space to go ahead and put the BBs in, and I'm going to have to finish sewing up that hole. First we'll glue it, but not until we put the BBs in. I found it a lot simpler using a funnel and just taking the top of the BBs off. You want to shake it as you're doing it, that way the BBs pour in there really easily. When I was done, the bean bag came out to 1 pound 3.3 ounces with the clip. It's actually 1 pound and 3 ounces without the clip. Now it is time to seal the bag, so we're going to go ahead and glue what is left of the hole that's open. And of course you want to glue both sides. And then we're going to go ahead and let the glue dry for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes later. Now we want to go ahead and push both sides together, try to be as accurate as possible, that way you maintain the quality look of that you are going for. Alright, now I am going to go ahead and close up that small hole with the sewing machine. It's actually a little more challenging considering how short of a space it is that you have to start the stitch and then back stitch at the end. But it came out pretty good considering it's I'm a novice with the sewing machine. Now you want to go ahead and finish the stitch by clipping it and going ahead and melting down with the lighter. You do the same thing you do with the sewing machine as you do with the hand stitch. And that's the project, it's completed. It's a great little project because this is something like I said we're going to be using a lot. I know some people out there are going to be tempted to use lead, but actually do not use lead, it's not safe. There have been instances from what I've read where people have gotten lead poisoning because it'll grind up inside the bag and become dust. Once again, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If you don't mind liking this video, that would be great. If you feel like subscribing, excellent. Either way, take care and be good to each other. Take care. Thanks.